Alright, welcome back to episode 6 of Let's Play Her Story. Um, again, these are pretty slow episodes, we're just kind of trying to go through a bunch of the extra database and draw, see what else we can kind of flesh out. Um, I might be retrying some keywords, just because... Okay. Spelled incorrectly. Okay, we only got those keywords. Really? You get to ask me about my sex life? I mean, isn't that private? Private, that's going to be another word. See, after this, I'm thinking about going through and going through all the search results which return more than five entries and then try combining them. Are you married? How is your sex life? No! You're talking to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut. If you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys. Hmm. Alright, we got an achievement to type in Detective Inspector, which I think means we might have passed through 75% of the database, so there might be just not very much left to find. Okay, so we've gone sex. She uses the word average a couple times. Okay. Um, we did argue, they mentioned sharing things, okay, that's done. <clears throat> okay, that was when they are talking about an intruder in the garden. Guess what my next words are going to be. Speaking of that, they mentioned stairs, okay. Intruder, uh, garden... Die. They mentioned the rules a whole bunch. It just became our way of life. And we would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. And we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. So they have some limited permutation type stuff for word searches, like um, rule and rules are considered equivalent, I think. Um, but they also like um, like verb conjugation is uncovered, so like it, it doesn't unconjugate words, and which is why like I had to try argue and argument and stuff. Um, again, I know I've done some of these. I'm just trying to. Um, like, I tried them, but I didn't cross them out on my sheet of words check. Mm. So 
Simon was very moral about that sort of thing. He wouldn't just walk out there and sleep with anyone. He wasn't that kind of guy. He took his marriage very seriously. After the kiss, kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house, to our parents' house. Parents. To their house. So, it was definitely him. <laughs> I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. Okay, so that takes care of marriage. Um, I think we've already done married. Oh, we haven't. Chocolate sweethearts. Something like that. When you marry, detective. It's all that matters, really. The baby. <laughs> Simon's dead. But the baby... That's how he will live on. Our baby. Okay, so that's life and lives. She mentioned the slut a couple times. Check. Yeah, so that's out. Um, I'm pretty sure we've already done mirror. Yep. Um, we've already done. Okay, we've got covered. Guys. Okay, we've already covered all the forwards and stuff. I think we can assume that the hospital alibi is a valid alibi, but it only works for Eve, which is the problem. Okay, cheat and cheated. I remember doing cheated. They mentioned the diary. No, he doesn't keep a diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day. When you're forced to put something into words, this gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone like you and Hannah, or you and Eve? Uh, um, Hearted life. Okay, um, that was diary. Turns. Uh, we already did Glasgow. Then they were all orange, which means that it was in fact Eve. They mentioned hotel a couple times. Sorry. And the hotel said he was there? Too much in here. Um, let's say okay. That's only mentioned thirty one Gladstone Street. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. It's Pandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you merit though, it's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. I think I've done a search for Smith, but. Oh, shoot, they only say her last name twice? 
That seems weird. Um, I already did knife. Okay, the parents. Parents' house. I think we already did secret. That's living in a room. Mention everyone being on the same page. They mention reflections a whole bunch, which I think I've already done all of those. Um, that's words. Okay, that's photos. I already did tattoo. They mentioned the bag he was found in was tied up with parcel tape. So I just want to check to see if they mentioned that ever again. Um, This isn't going to give anything, but it's just... Yep, yeah, okay, river. We already did cellar. You're too different. I can't... Who was Doug? We talked about Doug, but I can't remember who he was. Yeah. I've been mad to Doug and Eleanor's, and they're very worried. I feel sorry for that. Yeah, that's the parents. Um... Okay. I'll try my best to remember. Okay, and that's all the keywords I had written down. Okay, so my next idea um, Okay, so I think I'm going to try and go through back to the keywords quickly. Oh gosh, there's so many. Um, I find anything that has more than five results. Um, let's just start at the top because the top are kind of bigger. Okay, so Simon had a ton had sixty one. I guess I might as well write down the numbers in case they're end up being relevant. Eric had fourteen. Um, Glasgow in 10. I also want to check witness. Um, Eve is going to have a ton now because I've added that tag to a bunch of stuff. Mother had nine. Fairy tales at seven. Going ten, which already had hair and hair is at eight. Hannah had eight. 
15. Blonde at 6. This is boring. I might edit this out. Wick at 7, argument at 9, attic at 12. That makes me want to say you stay in attic. Pregnant 10. Baby 17. Body was 6. Doug and Eleanor had six. Cut was seven. I'm not even halfway through. Reflection had six. Seven. Street at eight. Um, I did a lot of searches multiple times. I need to look up ticket. Phone. Glaziers are seven. That was seven. Cup was seven. I feel like that's one that I might want to kind of ignore. Birthday was nine. Black was six. That's that she was talking about coffee a lot. House was 19. Find, found. This is also just helping me come up with new keywords that I might not have tried. Bed was seven. Husband was seven. Okay, I'm not gonna do the numbers, because the numbers. Um, year and years are, they were just random words, so. Um, Sure, let's include sex. I included sad. Month and sleep. Sleep, I guess I'll include. Life is kind of something. Try, 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 tried, tried, he. Street at eight. 
house and parent aren't are generic enough. Um, living with nine, I think I'll give it a shot. Reflection with six, because there's. Different with eight, no. Remember, 11. Let's look at innocent. I need to remember to look into innocent. All right. Um, I could take this stuff off now. Did I prove I'm innocent? Wait. I could take this stuff off now. Did I prove I'm innocent? <laughs> Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Th that's the same shirt as Eve yes. in the later interviews. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Is this a dissociative identity disorder thing? Yes. I'll take a lie detector test. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. Learn that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. And she had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after the night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let her see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. Bruised a hairbrush. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. <laughs> My name? That was the only question I failed. <laughs> the lie detector works. Okay, so we are aware that was a lie. Um, okay. Uh, I mentioned tickets. Well, I remember the ticket, of course. I paid it without telling Simon. Didn't want to get told off. And they put points on the license. Since they mentioned being shy a whole bunch. Okay, shy doesn't. Um, imagine a hairbrush. Glasses only had a couple head, right? 
Sure, I think. I do all the bills and paperwork and handle all the money stuff, so it should be easy for me to find. Do you want them dropped off to you? Sure. She used a word that I wanted you to search. I do all the bills and paperwork and handle all the money stuff, so it should be easy for me to find. Do you want them dropped off to you? Please find Simon. I love him so much. Mm. Yes, this is it. He made it himself. It's a special one off. He made it. He decorated it. That's his thing. Where do you find it? So if I hadn't found one, I'd both eight, but... Okay, one just gave me nothing. Special is nothing. Steak is nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't say that. It could be passionate. It's just it was more than that. It wasn't just sex like I had been with the other boys. If it was more than sex, was it love? Oh, he's, I, this actually gave me some results. No. I mean, he was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... nice to everyone. He loves me. You must love them very much. What ages are they? Cute. Age. Ages. Kids. Well, there you go. How many kids? Could they have been my parents' fingerprints? I'm not sure how long they last for, but is that possible? Let's check fingerprints. Yes, new allotment, and there's only five entries, which means it's exhaustively found. Fine. I never had my fingerprints taken before. I once put my hand in the oven. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. I like there's some videos like that where it's like, how would I have possibly found them other than typing one yes. specific word? Yeah. I would have cleaned them. I changed the sheets too. With the fingerprints in all those places. Really? Go on then. Take the cup. Run your fingerprints. 
they'll match. No, I'm okay. Fuck. <sighs> Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. Open this door. Um. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. I told her to wait for the time being. Okay, that's clean and cleaned. She mentioned an, uh, putting her hand in an oven once. No. Then she mentioned the sheets. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something. That's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. Alright. So, we have a bunch more keywords. Uh, we have bunch of things to search um so but i'm thinking i'm gonna call this episode for now because it's getting late and i really have to go to the washroom um all right uh that's it for episode six i guess this is and i'll see you next time on episode seven because we're like i think 80 to 90 percent way through this database so i'd really like to try and finish it off even if it'd be super difficult all right uh see you next time